Good job, Annie. I had just had my 13th birthday and I had just played a soccer game. I went to bed that night and when I woke up the next morning, I just collapsed to the floor in my room. And so my dad decided to take me to the hospital. And on the way there, I just went completely numb from my belly button down. That was scary. And then wondering, is my child going to be in a wheelchair or disabled her whole life? When I first met Annie, she was laying in bed, not moving her leg. And her one question to me then was, when can I get back on the soccer field? I love the doctors at UT Southwestern. I really don't okay. think I could be here and how recovered I am without them. Oh, Annie. Yay! The service that I run focuses on a variety of diseases. One of them is transverse myelitis, which is a condition where the spinal cord is damaged by the immune system. This disease is random. It can pick any of us at any time to affect. We used to think of transverse myelitis as a disease that just affects the spinal cord, but it turns out that what the patient experiences is something that impacts every part of life. There are a variety of specialists that can really make an impact on their well-being and livelihood. Our real value is bringing them together into one team. We always say that we never want their diagnosis to be the marker of their life. You know, I say, welcome to the family. I hate that you have to be here, but I'm glad that you're here with us. Transverse myelitis was really something that was not on my radar at all. As it turns out, the injury that she had is very similar to some of the nerve injuries that my patients have. He transferred the nerve that made my foot go out. And he moved it so that now it would make my foot go up and in. By bringing back that simple motor function of bending an ankle, it opens up a huge opportunity for overall improvement in walking that wouldn't have been an option for her prior to that surgery. We're really one of only two centers who are doing this surgery for transverse myelitis, and we're looking to expand that possibility. We may be starting on things that are very basic, progressing to standing and being able to work from there walking. It's been five years and I'm still recovering a little bit every day, and I don't think that's ever gonna stop. We specialize in an area that not many programs do. With Annie, I evaluate cognitive functioning, behavioral functioning, emotional functioning, and help make decisions about what she might need. There are very few programs set up that have a focus on transverse myelitis. We seem to all come together in this beautiful way as a team that we can impact these patients' lives. It's one of the most rewarding things to be able to reach those kind of landmark changes. The amount of resources that get dedicated to rare diseases are relatively small, so we work hard to try and expand those resources. Our team published the first paper on cognitive dysfunction in transverse myelitis. Our hope is that we can move forward and, and study in more detail. Advances that we make in transverse myelitis will have profound implications for patients with other conditions. We'll help people with multiple sclerosis or neuromyelitis optica. This is a disease where as we make discoveries or advancements with it, it will have implications for many more patients. To have a doctor that's on the cutting edge, it really gives you a sense of power. You don't feel like you're powerless. Annie is going to be extremely successful. She's truly an inspiration, not only to our other patients, but to us as well. My doctors never doubted me. They gave me so much encouragement, and he told me never to give up and never to put limitations on myself, and he told me that he never would. It's just really shown me what life's about and how great life really is.